Now we've got on the line Dwayne Russell. Welcome, Dwayne. Welcome, Dwayne. Great to be with you both. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Hello. Dwayne. And you're actually um, just released a children's, uh, children's book, your first book. Tell us a little bit about it. It's called Jackson's Free. It is, uh, yes, it's for kids, you know, three, four, five, six-year-olds uh, that like to uh, read by themselves or learn to read or want to be read to by their mums and dads. There wasn't, wasn't a football book out there for uh, mums and dads for their footy and kids who love their footy, so I decided to put one together. Absolutely. And tell me a little bit about Jackson. Well, Jackson's a little kid who loves his footy. Uh, he gets a, a new Sharon footy and uh, he sleeps with it and uh, does all these things that he can do with it in the back out. But he starts seeing elsewhere. He goes out with his mum and his dad and his grandparents and everywhere he goes, he keeps seeing his footy. And he's a bit confused by the fact that he thought he left his footy home and yet he oh. it out. <laughs> Someone else has got his footy, so uh, it's a little bit of a mystery for little kids. They can obviously work it out fairly quickly, but uh, yeah, it all ends happily in the end. What a clever idea! And how did you actually come up with that particular concept? That's very clever. Uh, I wrote a book for Slattery Publishing, an AFL publishing company, uh, about how to play footy uh, years ago with the help of advice from a hundred current players and coaches. So we published that, and I've been in contact with the, the publisher for quite a while. I've known him for a long time and he actually said to me what I'd really... I spoke to him about writing some fiction for him and he said, if you want to write some fiction, I'd love you to write a footy book and uh, for little kids. And that's exactly what got the ball rolling. As soon as he said that, I knew that I knew one of the best children's book illustrators in the world, Donna Guinell. She's a relation of mine. Right. Now, I've known her since I was about 17 years of age. Uh, and uh, I know she illustrates beautifully, so I asked her to do it. So, with the illustrations, did you actually uh, speak to her about what you had in, in your in your mind, or did she actually read your text and then come up with the illustrations? She comes from a footy family in Port Lincoln. Her father was a footballer. In fact, the, Jackson is uh, the image of her father as a little kid. She's oh, really? <laughs> her father as a kid, and that's what Jackson looks like with the little curly locks. Um, so she knows her footy anyway. Right. But she has illustrated uh, lots of children's books involving animals. Uh, Arthur, the series Arthur, uh, is one of her... Arthur the books. Dog? Yeah, Arthur the Dog. So, so she's illustrated books for, you know, worldwide companies before and done well. So she was really keen to do something more Australianised as well and, and uh, something on footy as well. So she was keen and I was keen. So uh, it was uh, an obvious approach. Oh, great. And I've had a look at the book, and it is really, um, I quite like the illustrations, and I just love the idea of it. It's such a simple idea, but it's so clever. She is exceptional. That's, I mean, the, the text is one thing, but the pictures tell four or five or six different stories. Yeah, they really bring it to and life. That's, and that's the beauty of it as well. I think um, uh, without those, without the depth of the illustrations, illustrations that tell four or five different stories just by the looks on their faces and the things in the background, it wouldn't be anywhere near the book it is so she's done a fantastic job absolutely and of course children especially young children that you're you're aiming at they very they're very visual aren't they they are very visual and i think parents as well i i like the thought that fathers in the modern day are reading to their kids more uh, than they used to 30 years ago 20 years ago when it was all about getting home from work and going back to the fridge for a can of beer so absolutely yeah i think it is a great then uh, if fathers can pick this book up and read to their kids, I think that would be a fantastic connection time because I think mums have secretly had that connection time with their kids for a hundred years and it's uh, fathers got in on it. Oh, I certainly remember sitting in mum's lap and her telling me, like reading <laughs> stories when I was a little girl and you just love that time, don't you, with your parents? It is. I think it's it's something that probably kids don't know that they're valuing but parents, I think that, that mums that have been doing that for a long time it's something that they will never forget. And I think that that little bit of time when they spend in the bedroom, just one-on-one, -on -one, you have a little chat and you talk about the day and you, you read a book, is something that uh, you can't replace. Absolutely. Now, has this encouraged you to write more children's books? I've been talking to Slattery Meek about doing another Jackson book. There's, um, there's no doubt that I'd like to do... Now that this one has worked, now that this one is nice, it's been received well... Yes. And I've enjoyed going to different shopping centres and bookstores and reading it to kids. Now that I've seen how it works, uh, I would love to continue writing in this uh, children's book area, yeah. 
Oh, terrific. And talking about um, going out to the plazas and what have you, tomorrow you're actually going to be at the Collins Bookstore and ABC Centre at the Werribee Plaza and you're going to be there from 10am to 11am. If you didn't already know, that's when you're there. <laughs> <laughs> and I am, the- I'm, glad, I'm glad you're letting everybody else know. Yes, I'm going to be there. There'll be handball targets and a few little giveaways, but there'll also be uh, sitting down reading the book to kids. So I'm really looking forward to that. Oh, fantastic. Now, do you think that, um, because obviously you've got a footy background and Andrea is the footy guru at the, on this station. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm allowed to talk footy. <laughs> <laughs> now, have you had a lot of reaction from the, from your, your friends in the footy world about the book? I have actually, yeah. I mean, when you write something that's, I mean, it's, it's sort of about footy. Well, yeah. it is about footy, but it's more about that connection between uh, an adult and their, their kids. So there's a whole heap of people that I know that don't have kids. There's a whole heap of people that I know that have older kids. Um, and they, they wouldn't, they haven't even picked it up. But all those people that I know that have got little kids have all said that they've enjoyed it. So that's been a, a big, um, nice pat on the back for me to get from them, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, everyone can come along from Werribee and go to, as I said, the ABC store and ABC Centre, Collins Bookstore rather, at the Werribee Plaza from 10am tomorrow until 11am. And will you sign the book for any kiddies out there that want you to sign it? Of course I will. I'd uh, sign it with whatever message they want. I could even write "Go Bulldogs." If oh, no. <laughs> I've got I've got a Hawthorne fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll let you know, Dwayne. I'm neutral on all levels. <laughs> well, that's probably not a bad way to be. And just pick your team come the of September. That's probably going to be a good way. To be. <laughs> she does. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thank you very much, Dwayne, for joining us on eighty-eight point nine Win FM today. And the book is Jackson's Footy which is your first children's book, and I don't think it'll be your last. And anyone who in the local area or beyond that would like to um, meet you, and do you all, as you said, you also read the book on the day. Is that right? I will be reading it tomorrow, yes. So about 10.30 I'll be reading it, but if you come along at about 10, uh, I'd love to have a chat and uh, shake your hand whether you're big or small. Excellent. Beautiful. And again, that's at the Collins Bookstore and ABC Centre at the Werribee Plaza from 10 a.m. and the book reading is at 10.30. And Dwayne will be there until 11 a.m. And there's also a handball competition, so they can come along and can they actually um, do that against you? They can do that with <laughs> me and they can win a few little prizes as well. In fact, I'm uh, sure no one goes so empty-handed. Oh, fantastic. Well, thank you again for joining us, Dwayne, and um, everyone get down to the Werribee Plaza tomorrow. Thank you, Dwayne. Thanks for having a chat to me.